And we're back, guys. Welcome to Good Energy. We report on tennis. Good Energy reporting on tennis. We head back to Tunisia, where we have Claire Lou. That's right, the challenger, taking on the number one seed in world's rank number two, Anz Jabir. Now, listen, ladies and gentlemen, Claire Lou has a lot of haters, and I can tell they're not really tennis fans because they don't really know Claire Lou is a junior champion, and she's big time. And a lot of people, look, they just don't know how good of a prospect she is. Look, I called Iga Swiatek to be as good as she was and is now. You know, I called that years ago. And I'm telling you right now, Claire Liu is going to be a good player. And she has a lot of haters that don't really watch tennis and don't understand. But the reality here is... Claire Liu is explosive. And look, you're looking at a lot of people look at the knee, you know, the knee wraps there. And the reality here is unless you're in the camp, you, you, you don't really know why it could be for cosmetic appearances. It could be for mental appearances it, and it could be for physical appearances. The reality here is, you know, when I played sports, uh, I had a game where I hit. 11 shots in a row. I was 11 for 11. I was wearing one of those Nike uh, finger bands, you know, that you put on your finger, finger sleeves. And from then on, I continued to wear them. It was a mental thing. You know, it wasn't like my finger was jammed or anything. It was purely mental. And the reality here is, I don't know if this is physical or mental, but if I had to guess, Claire Lou wearing the wraps on her knees, I would say it's probably a physical issue because if you if you didn't need to wear them, I don't I don't think she would wear them. Um, I don't know if it's providing some type of menthol or some type of soothing to the knees, um, but I could tell just by watching her play that she wasn't physically 100 percent. And when she was not wearing the knee wraps, I noticed more explosiveness in her game. Um, And that was at the start of the Tokyo stretch. But now they're back on. And that's after, of course, the loss to Ann Lee, her bestie. And she did have the win against Sinyakova, uh, or, you know, we pronounce it um, Sinyakova if you're from the western part of the world. But she beat Senyakova, which was a really good win. And look, Anjabur has only allowed opponents to win seven service games this tournament. Uh, Claire Liu is going to win service games. She will win service games because she's explosive. And of all the potential opponents that can uh, possibly win this championship, I think Claire Liu is the biggest threat to Anjabur. That's just my personal opinion because Claire Liu, she's fast, she's explosive. She has a short center of gravity. And the biggest key is she's unconventional. Claire Lou is unconventional, which is much like Anne Chabur. When you have two unconventional unconventional players, uh, excuse me, guys, trying to speak fast here. When you have two unconventional players going at it, it's really unpredictable. And this, this is not a match that I would call uh, because the reality here is we all know I want Anne Chabur to win this match in this tournament. But Claire Liu, she's fast, she's explosive, she's unpredictable. I mean, just look at her serve. She has a rock, she has a kick serve where she rocks back and then explodes forward. Now, she gets into trouble with her serve when she plays good returners that are fast, aggressive, and they can attack that serve because when she plays the fast, aggressive returners, she can't really get into position to start the rally off good. She's more athletic than Anne Chabur. So this is a match where Claire Lewis, she's going to hold serve and she's going to win games. So this is not a match that I would predict uh, because the reality here is I'm going to be biased to begin with. But I know Claire Lou is she's a great talent. And look, don't be fooled by rankings. Don't be fooled by records because a lot of this stuff depends on the draw you get, depends on the tournament you go to, depends on your form, depends on your health. It depends on a lot of things, and the reality here is get your popcorn, folks. This is going to be a good match. First set starting now.